ஹலோ பீப்புள் வெல்கம் டு குருகுலா ஸோ டுடே இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டேக் அப் சம் நியூமெரிக்கல் ப்ராப்ளம்ஸ் ஆன் ஃப்ரீ ஸ்பேஸ் ப்ரொபகேஷன் டெக்னிக் ஸோ வென் யூ கன்சிடர் ஃப்ரீ ஸ்பேஸ் ப்ரொபகேஷன் மாடல் தேர் ஆர் சான்சஸ் ஆஃப் ஸோ கெட்டிங் நியூமெரிக்கல் ப்ராப்ளம்ஸ் இன் யுவர் எக்ஸாம்ஸ் ஆஸ் வெல் ஸோ டுடே வி வில் சி ஹவு டு சால்வ் திஸ் பர்டிகுலர் ப்ராப்ளம் ஸோ டுடே த கொஸ்டின் வாட் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டேக் அப் இஸ் So if a transmitter produces 50 watts of power which is applied to a unity gain antenna with a 900 megahertz carrier frequency so we are supposed to find out the received power in the unit dbm so we are expected to find out the received power in terms of or in the units of dbm at a free space distance of 100 meters from the antenna so what is the received power at the distance of 10 km as well so we are also expected to find out what is the received power at the distance of 10 km and also we are instructed to assume that the unity gain for uh, receiving antennas as well so we will march forward and then we will find out the solutions for this so first of all as in uh, solution we will first draft what are all the information that is given in the question so what are all the given data in the question so we can clearly see that the transmitted power taken as pt so that is given as 50 watts the transmitter power is 50 watts and then the frequency we can take it as center frequency or carrier frequency which is operated at 900 megahertz so that is what given and also it is given that uh, the gain of the transmitting antenna and gain of the receiving antenna is supposed to be 1 that is unity gain is over to be here and then what is the thing that we have to calculate here they are asking us to find out what is the received power in terms of dbm at distance is equals to 100 meters this is the first one which we have to calculate and then we have to calculate the received power in terms of dbm at the distance of 10 km so these are all the questions which we have to address over here and now taking up further we very well know the expression for finding out the received power pr as per the fry's equation and it is clearly mentioned that we are going to use that the free space model over here so as per the free space model the calc- equation for calculating the received power is pt times gt times gr times lambda squared the whole divided by 4 pi squared times d squared times l so just to recollect i'll tell you pt is the transmitted power and gtgr is the gain of transmitting and receiving antenna respectively lambda is the wavelength 4 pi is a constant d is the distance and l is the system loss so remember that l is the system loss here and not the propagation loss so if there is no information given about the system loss usually we will consider that l is equals to 1 so other than this all other informations are given in this particular question so first of all so we can calculate the value of lambda over here so lambda is given by c over f so where we know the value of c so c is nothing but 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meters per second divided by frequency we very well know what is the frequency is that is 900 megahertz so 900 into 10 to the power of 6 hertz so while calculating the wavelength that is mandatory to represent frequency in terms of hertz and not as uh, megahertz directly so by solving this you will get the value of lambda is equals to 0.333 something approximated value so once we know the value of uh, lambda now we can further proceed to find out the value of pr we can directly substitute all the values of the variables over here so these are all the given variables so we know what is pt so that is 50 watts times gt is 1 and what is gr that is also 1 and what is lambda just now we calculated that is 0.333 whole squared divided by uh, 4 pi squared 
times d squared. So now we are going to calculate d at a distance of 100 meters. So I will take 100 squared d squared times L. For L, I will take this as 1. So when you feed all these values on your calci, uh, you will get a value of 3.5 into 10 to the power of minus 6 watts. And remember, all these calculations on your calculator must be done by making sure that your calculator is operating on radiance mode, so not on the degree mode. So <coughs> uh, if you are working on degree mode, you may get some wrong answers. So make sure your calculators are working on the radiance mode. So now what we found out is, we have found out the received power in terms of dB watt at distance is equals to 100 meters which is equals to 3.5 into 10 to the power of minus 6 watt. So this is what we have calculated now. But as per the question, the question is we are expected to find out received power in terms of dBm, not in terms of dBw. So the very simple expression or the conversion equation to convert dBw to dBm is so 10 log of received power in the units of milliwatt. I'm sorry. So this is milliwatt. So when I rewrite, so I can rewrite the above equation like 10 log of the received power. So this is in terms of what? If I convert this into milliwatts, I will get 3.5 into 10 to the power of minus 3 milliwatt. So that is how I can write. So when you solve this, you will get an exact value of minus 24.55 dBm. So this is the value of received power in terms of dBm at d is equals to 100 meters. So that is the one of the solution which we require. And further, you are expected to calculate the value of received power. So next we will march forward and then we will find out the value of received power in terms of dBm again, but this time a distance is equals to 10 kilometers. So since we already have calculated, so now when you understand, when you try to understand the question, the question is like we have a transmitting antenna over here and which is radiating at a frequency of 900 megahertz. So it is radiating or it is operating at the central frequency of 900 megahertz and we have calculated the received power that is in terms of PR, the distance between this particular point is 100 meters. So this is what we have calculated right now. So this is the value which we have calculated right now. And now we are going to calculate, if I place a receiving antenna here, so now this distance is what? I will take it as 10 kilometer. So if this is 10 kilometer, what will be the value of received power at this particular point is the question. So we now have a partial value of the received power at a particular point distance. So now we can consider this as a reference distance d0. You might have come across a term, a closing distance or a reference distance when we are discussing free space model. So you can use this particular equation and we can directly substitute that in an expression. So the expression to find out the received power in terms of dBm at uh, distance is equals to 10 kilometer is we can substitute that in 10 log of PR of D0, received power at the reference point D0, it, but in terms of milliwatt. You have to write this in terms of milliwatt. If this is so confusing, I can write it as milliwatt as well. Plus 20 log of D0 divided by where here D0 is our 100 meters, which is the reference distance, and D is the actual distance between transmitter and receiver separation, that is 10 kilometer in our case. So now by replacing the values of all these things, we will get the values of, so this value we might have already calculated, so this we have calculated, so this value is minus 24. 
24.55 dBm. So minus 24.55 dBm is what we have plus again 20 log of d naught we know the value of d naught that is 100 and then we know the value of uh, d now this is 10 kilometers we cannot take that as 10 kilometers it has to be represented in terms of meters so 10 kilometers is equivalent to 10,000 meters so when you feed all these values on your calculator you should get the value of uh, minus 24.55 dBm plus for this you should get a value of 40 I'm sorry that is not plus you should get minus 40 so by solving this the value is minus 64.5 dBm so this is the expected value which you are wanted to uh, identify so this is the received power value in terms of dBm at distance is equals to 10 kilometer so this is the second solution which you are expected to find out and there is an alternate way to calculate this power if you are not very much comfortable in remembering or to recollect this particular expression you can always go for the straight method as well so what I will do is I will just solve this particular part alone in a very straightforward approach so this is an alternate approach so alternate approach you can always go on uh, if you are not very much comfortable in remembering this particular equation alright so no need to worry um, we can always find out the value of received power by using Fritz equation as well so that is Fritz equation is PT uh, GT GR times lambda squared the whole divided by 4 pi the whole squared times d squared into l so now we very well know the values of all the uh, variables here so pt is 50 and then times 1 and gr is also 1 times lambda squared so in our case it is 0 0.333 the whole squared over 4 pi the whole squared times now instead of uh, d we can uh, instead of 100 meters you can directly substitute 10,000 meters here 10,000 meters is nothing but it is 10 kilometers into the loss factor system loss factor since there is no information given about the system loss we will take that as one as such so when you calculate this you will get the received power in terms of dbw remember you will get the value in terms of dbw so that is 3.518 into 10 to the power of minus 10 dbw in terms of watts you will get so you can rewrite this as so 3.518 into 10 to the power of minus 7 in milliwatts so now you very well know the expression for converting this particular value into dbm so we need received power in terms of dbm so the value is 10 log of received power in terms of milliwatts this is what you wanted to write so received power in terms of milliwatt is what you are expected to write here so 10 log of 3.518 into 10 to the power of minus 7 milliwatt so when you calculate this you will similarly end up with the value of minus 64.5 dBm so you can observe that whatever the method that you follow even you go for a straightforward approach like this or you can use a direct expression like this or you can use this particular expression also in both the cases you can observe that the answer is similar even here you got minus 64.5 dBm and even here you end up with minus 64.5 dBm so that's the solution of uh, the question whatever we have been asked to sort out 
so you can i s hope that this problem will be clear for you people so we will solve much more problems on the upcoming videos until then happy learning thank you